Good morning everybody, welcome back. I woke up this morning to a text that said uh, the river is blown out. So I loaded up the airboat trailer. I'm going down here to my buddy's ranch that I have my airboat at and um, nobody's out here so I'm gonna try to load this thing by myself. Um, it's not working right now so I can't just hop in it and drive it up on the trailer like I normally would. Um, all I get, it's a very easy fix. I just gotta replace the fuel filter um, or the air filter. But there's a little tractor down here, so I'm gonna try to lift up the front end, back the trailer up. We'll, we'll figure it out when we get down there. If I can even get down there, it may be too muddy. So uh, the lake has come up significantly in the past couple hours. Um, the rain down here in Texas has been insane. So we're gonna get over here, see what it looks like. Uh, I may even have to. Um, drag the airboat out with the mule as far as I can to where I can get up on flatter ground where it's not as muddy um, and do it that way but we'll just have to see so see you when we get there uh, this is what today is consisting of so far so stay tuned who knows what else is going to come in this video but I uh, hope you enjoy it Hey guys, before we get any further into this video, the time has finally come and merch is dropped. So we're only doing a pre-sale for a week. It's one week long from today. Um, a week from today, it will stop. This merch will be gone forever. So please order uh, merch. You only have a week to do it. Some awesome stuff, can't wait to show you guys. Uh, I've been wearing it in a couple videos here and there, but um, we got a whole little lineup and I don't have any of the hats with me right now, hats are really short on stock, so we left those up there for you guys to buy. So first come, first serve kind of thing. Uh, if you get one, you gotta be one of the first ones to get one. So um, we'll start off with the Mullet Man Bait Co. We are releasing uh, some Mullet Man Bait Co. shirts before the baits are released, just because we've, have, just because we've had so many requests um, on this shirt. Y'all see me wearing, I'm wearing the blue one right now. Uh, we got a couple color options in the Mullet Man um bait co shirt then we have the mullet man team ziploc it's actually team baggy now because of legal issues uh having ziploc on there doesn't work um so we got mullet man team baggy all we do eat fish around here and then our famous swine and dine shirt guys all this stuff is most likely leaving for good after this pre-sale so if you want this shirt or any of these shirts, make sure you go and get them. Um, this is one of my new favorites. Uh, it is a mud marlin. It's the mud marlin shirt, and it is a carp jumping out of the water. It is a true mud marlin here in Texas. So, last shirt, which is sick, is the uh, Mullet Man uh, turkey shirt. Got a beard coming down, silhouette of a fan. Got Mullet Man eat good on there, and then the front part, is really cool too it's got mm with a beard hanging off of it this shirt is sick um all these shirts are sick all of them have stuff on the front too um mm this one is a front shirt front and then the mullet man bait co got the little mullet man bait co on the front of this shirt as well so just like the shirt that i'm wearing but we have all these uh we are coming out with some more stuff uh but not for this pre-sale so stay tuned for those, but right now, one week from today, you have to order these um, and they will be shipping out. So this is a pre-sale. They'll be shipping out after all the orders come in, after that, um, after the week is up, and then we'll, uh, then we'll make all the shirts and send them out to you guys. Um, so you can expect to get them in uh, a week or so after the pre-sale is over. This is the lineup for right now. I hope you guys dig it. I love the new merch. Um, and it would help me out a ton if you guys could get on my merch site, moleman.net. It'll be linked in the description. Um, if y'all could go over there, help me out and support the channel by uh, getting some merch. Get it for friends, family, your dad, your mom, your brother, your sister, however you want to do it. But it would help out a ton if you guys could get over to the merch site, uh, grab a piece or two. And that's what makes me uh, be able to give you guys content. It uh, helps support um, the hunting trips so that I can bring you guys awesome content. So enough rambling. Go check it out. Mulletman.net. Our spice is up as well. Baits are coming soon, so don't worry. Um, but let's get back to the airboat. See if we can get this guy on the trailer. 
Alright, let's see what the river looks like. Probably the same as it did. Oh yeah, it's up. It's booking it. Alright, we're almost there. Well, I'm already having to get full of ride. It, uh, I wish this was a gravel road, but it's not. So let's see if we can get through this. Nobody's been back here in a while because there's no tire tracks and there is ruts in the road. Sorry, like little runoffs in the road that completely cut. Oh my gosh. All right, it gets gravel up here. I forgot. Oh, a little foggy. Look at the river. It is like way up and supposedly it's coming up like an inch an hour right now so by the end of the day it's going to be up here for sure. I know it's hard for y'all to see look at all those comrades flying off but this that water is ripping. Normally this river right here like the boat ramp is way down there and it's only a few inches deep and it's probably 10 foot deep right now so i'm gonna go find the tractor and uh try to get the airboat this thing won't stop fogging up try to get the airboat turn around and put on the trailer so Well, I just about crapped my pants. There's a copperhead under this cover. I don't know where he went. I really don't want to mess with him. There he is right there. Nasty old little copperhead. Ugh. I got bit by one about that size a few years ago on my ankle. And they are no joke, so I'm gonna go get a stick and get that guy off of there. These guys right here are no bueno, and uh, Stuart has kids, and I don't want them to be close to this thing, so. <clears throat> done. I gotta go find the rope or a chain in my truck where I can move this airboat around. Let's see. Alright, I got the chain on. Put the strap on, I gotta turn this thing around and uh, pull it out straight. Got the airboat straight. Straight-ish. 
Now I'm going to back the trailer up to it and then lift the front end of the airboat up with the tractor. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can lift the front of this thing up. I don't know how we're gonna do this, really, just yet. We got her loaded, boys. That is not a one-man job, but we did get her done, so. That river can come on up. Woo! Now I gotta get out of here on this dirt road with a heavy airboat behind us. So, I'll see you guys back at the house. When we get there, I gotta clean this boat out and uh, I gotta go buy some parts for it so I can get it running. Because with all this flooded water, means a bunch of fields are flooded so probably gonna be doing some bow fishing pretty soon leave it in the comments if y'all want to see a uh, big catch clean cook on an alligator gar bow fishing a big alligator gar i think that'd be fun so we just got to make it home in one piece with this airboat first wally world well guys uh the gar hunt is here sooner than expected cody called me earlier um and the river came up like 19 foot so there's a bunch of flooded fields so we got the boat loaded up took the lights off my airboat we put them in cody's boat just left walmart or we're getting gas at walmart right now 
got some C clamps so we could put them on his boat. Um, so yeah, hopefully we get into some fish. We have made it, guys. Cody's backing down. Flooded field behind us. It's about to get western. All right, we just uh, put the lights on. Let's see what she looks like. If I can find the button. Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> Ooh! She good. What do you think, Cody? We gonna shoot a big gar? Oh, we're about to make it happen. I think so. Let's do it. Yeah? <laughs> These lights look pretty good other than the front having no lights. I wish that light bar worked, but still it doesn't shine down in the water much. This will work. There's another gar. I'm ready. Well guys, it definitely did not get Western last night, but I almost forgot to show you another piece that's in the lineup, in the merch lineup. Uh, it is the Elk, Mullet Man Elk Horn T-shirt. Um, this shirt is so slick. Uh, got Mullet Man, got the MM integrated into the Elk Horn with the sun behind it. Same thing on the front side, um, just smaller on the chest. Uh, this shirt is super slick, but like I said guys everything helps um, This is my full-time job. So anything that uh, Y'all do whether it's a thumbs up or a comment or um, Buying something off the merch site it helps me um, Go on these hunting and fishing trips that you guys enjoy um, And ultimately it helps me support my family. Like I said, this is my only job um, so literally every little thing that you guys do helps and I can't thank you enough for what you have already done for me and my family um, I do read every single comment even though I can't comment and like every single comment um, I just don't have time to comment on every comment. I do what I can but I do read every single comment that you guys uh, Put on my videos, so I appreciate everything um, Like I said it would help a lot if you could just get over the merch site or just leave a thumbs up or a comment on this video um, it would help out a ton so um, helps me to go on these epic hunts that you guys enjoy to watch um, and it is my passion and I love to do it so uh, thank you guys for helping me do what I love to do uh, for a living it is a dream and I'm so blessed to be able to do what I'm doing um, and it's all because of you guys so um, last night did definitely did not get western uh cody actually went in the same exact field three days ago um so the river was up 19 foot yesterday and when i woke up this morning it was only nine foot so the river had dropped drastically while we were there so that had to have played a big role in it but uh when cody was there three days ago they absolutely slaughtered the fish uh, saw a big alligator gar everything was moving but last night it was just tough um Another crazy thing that happened is a uh, sewer plant in town actually busted a pipe and they let out 550 million gallons of water, sewer water, into the river. Um, so it completely murkied up the water. Couldn't see anything, even the little gar that came up to get air, you just saw them whenever their nose literally came out of the water. Um, all the plants that were sticking out of the water, you could not see anything below that plant after the water line. So it was pretty crazy. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to get parts for the airboat tomorrow, so the airboat will be up and running very soon. It's not a it's not a hard fix at all. Um, so if y'all want to see some bow fishing content, leave it in the comments. As soon as these rivers go back down, uh, we'll be out there slaying fish. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. A little vlog style video. Um, like I said, go check out the merch site. Um, it'll be up for one week only. Um, Multman.net linked in the description um, but until next time hit that subscribe button share with family and friends hit that thumbs up and remember eat good